Hi, everybody. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Father Dave here at Most Holy Trinity Parish in St. John's Church. And this week, we're kind of closing up, I think, with our cooking events with some Easter eggs. So you can take a look at these guys. They'd be called Pisanki. If you're really serious about it, you get some great details. And these are really great looking eggs. And I did not make these. Somebody gave me these guys. And I have some others, too, from years past. So these are without the egg in. But what we're going to do today is we're going to make some brightly colored Easter eggs. So we're going to do blue, yellow, red, green, orange. That means our, that means our, okay. Our eggs are done. So we're going to just do six large eggs that are hard boiled. So they've been in for about 11 minutes. Make sure they're nicely cooked. Reminds me when I was a kid, when we had an Easter egg hunt, it was all with real Easter eggs. They'd be colored and even the one we had in town with must have been 100 kids at it. They were almost all actual hard boiled eggs that were colored. So the first thing we're gonna do we're going to take the hot water that we just boiled the eggs in, and we're going to fill these bugs with the water. Because we're going to dye it right in the hot water, in the bugs. So I'm just going to scoop this out. Maybe someday I'll learn to do some of the Really fancy ones, that would be fun. There we go. But of course, things like <clears throat> Easter eggs, and of course, in the old days, they might have the little bunnies, chicks, ducklings, either live or the candy kind, all reminders of new life, the new life that we get from Christ. Remember a story about kids in school, and they're all given an egg, a big plastic egg, and they're meant to decorate it, put something in it, and you know the kids did different things, like maybe something, you know, the images of Happy Easter on the outside, or some ribbons or flowers, and then on the inside, maybe some of the things that had to do with the Lord's passion. And one little kid, when they were showing their eggs. He opened up the egg, and the teacher said, you didn't finish your project. There's, you know, there's nothing in there. And he said, no, it's supposed to be like that because it's Easter and the tomb is empty. So he really got the, the right idea with that, what it's all about. Well, let me see if I can just pour this one without getting myself. Okay. Might have to borrow a little bit of water from one. But we'll see. That's who's got the most. We'll see how it goes here. But okay, we're going to start. My first egg is going to be purple. So we get some regular food coloring. You're going to put about 20 drops in. Okay. Another is going to be just yellow. Another one is going to be orange. So if you want orange, 
you need red and yellow. If you want purple, you need uh, the red and the blue, which I might have made a mistake there. So we'll see what color it turns out to be. Okay. There we go. So we're going to do blue. Okay, how about a red? I think this works better than the little Easter egg kits. And I don't make that many eggs, so I guess that makes it simple. And from green. We had some rain the other day, and we had a really nice rainbow. had all these colors in it. And to make them really bright, you put a little vinegar in each one of the cups. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add our eggs. And we're going to be waiting for about five minutes. Let them stay in the dye. A little bit of time. Oops. <laughs> well, it's not raw, so it shouldn't hurt anything. So in they go. And now we'll just wait for our five minutes. Okay, so we've had the eggs in the dye for about five minutes. So we take them out and see how they look. Looks like the blue came out pretty good. I'll just rinse the spoon a little bit for each one. Yellow, not too bad. What do we get out of this one? Green. That looks pretty good. That, of course, up. Mm hmm. Well, red. Okay. Does look kind of orange, so that's not too bad. Okay, we got that one already. Yep. And, okay. So we got a, two different shades of green here. How we ended up, okay. Oops. <clears throat> well, not too bad. So there we are with some just nice solid color Easter eggs. So if you're looking for an easy way to do it, those are just the simple steps to make up. And then again, if you want to get really fancy, you might have to do some studying and a bit of extra artwork to make some of these guys. But anyway, as we're now getting into our Easter celebration, we just pray the Lord's blessing on you and may the Lord really bless you in his resurrection as we look forward then too to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you.